And now to introduce our first speaker, who is Mrs. Mahabo Matlo, a researcher at the ARC NRE, and a position she's held since 2006. And uh, prior to joining the ARC, uh, she worked as a part-time techni technical staff at the university. Uh, she's also a member of various scientific bodies and is a registered professional natural scientist. She's involved in implementing various government programs, mainly specializing in soil science, sustainable agriculture, climate smart agriculture, rural development, food security, agro-processing and action research. And the title of her talk is Soil, is it just a medium for plant growth? Um, over to you, Mrs. Uh, Mahabo. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Can you hear me? Good morning. Yes, we, yes, we can hear you. Okay. The title of my presentation is Soil. Is it just a medium for plant growth? And the answer to that question is no. Although more than 90% of uh, plants grow in the soil, soil is more than just a medium for plant growth. I will, I will tell you about the functions of the soil in the next slides. The outline of my presentation is as follows. I will tell you about the definition of soil, the functions of soil, why do you protect soils and career opportunities in soil science. Soil is a loose surface material that covers most lands. It's a um, natural material from, from weathering of rocks and decomposition of organic matter. It's comprised of about 45% mineral particles, 25% air, 25% uh, water, and 5% organic matter. Uh, for those if you want to test if uh, if uh, soil uh, contains air, you can add about 200 grams of soil in a 500 ml container. And then you add water to dry soil, and then you add water to that. Then you see bubbles coming up. If you look at the soil profile, which is a vertical section of um, the the soil, look at the from the top soil to the hard rock. Uh, you see something with the layers like this. Uh, we, we do have a A horizon, the B horizon, and C horizon. And then each and every soil profile tells you a story. Like, for example, if you look at the red uh, soil here, the red soil profile uh, with uniform color, uh, the soil is deep. The, issue, uh, in the red soil comes from uh, oxidized iron. And the agricultural potential there is very of the soil profile is very high because the soil, uh, if you look at the structure, the the texture, and the fact that the soil is very deep, it means the the, the agricultural potential is very high. But then, if you look at the soil profile like this one, uh, the other one which the, with, with the shallow, um, where the soil profile is very shallow, it, it the profile is comprised of just the a horizon and a hard rock. The agricultural potential is very low, meaning you can grow uh, fewer crops with shallow root system. For deep rooted uh, crops, you can grow them in a soil profile, uh, which is very shallow like this. Otherwise, the yield is going to be very low. The functions of soil, it's, it, it, act as, it anchors uh, plant roots and it also uh, provides nutrients to plants. And then it, so, it stores uh, uh, organic carbon. Uh, Normally, people encourage uh, growing of plants so that they can absorb carbon uh, to uh, uh, undergo the process of photosynthesis. So normally, we, uh, at the Agricultural Research Council, we encourage uh, farmers to protect the soil. Instead of plowing the soil using the mud ball plow, we encourage uh, farmers to, uh, to only plow where they are going to plant so that the organic carbon can be stored in the soil instead of being released into the atmosphere, contributing to the uh, climate change, the negative impact of uh, climate change. It, we also get food and other biomass uh, from the soil. Uh, we build uh, roads and uh, uh, houses on the soil, and you also get other raw materials like platinum, copper, gold, you uh, mine it from the soil and then soil can also be used as a cultural heritage like you see the himba women they mix uh, certain types of soil with the uh, butter and then apply it to their bodies and in some cases especially in case that in our day, you see women mixing soils with the uh, water and use it as a sunscreen 
why do we protect the soil? It takes uh, many, many years for a centimeter of soil to form about 400 to 500 uh, uh, years. Uh, about 12 to 14 percent of 16.7 uh, million hectare of land is rated as suitable for dry land production in South Africa. However, out of that uh, 12 to 14 percent, we have uh, 3 percent of that is uh, high, has high agricultural potential. By that I mean uh, the soil quality, the soil quality indicators uh, are, are higher. Like for example, uh, the, you find that the the soil depth is. Uh, very high, it has a, a deep, uh, the, the, soil pro, the, soil, the soil depth is, is very high, it doesn't have a shallow uh, soil profile, they don't have soil, soil, pro, soil profile. And then some of these uh, pictures here are very familiar. This other, this one, the middle one was taken in the Eastern Cape uh, where there are so many donors. And then it has been uh, estimated that about three tons of soil is lost for every uh, ton of maize uh, produced, especially if in uh, cropping fields where uh, conventional tillage is, is being practiced. Conventional tillage is where you plow the soil, uh, you loosen uh, the soil, and then when it rains or if there is wind, most of that soil is being lost. And then uh, how do we protect the soil? We can move uh, from a uh, conventional tillage to uh, conservation agriculture or where we protect our soil is either through intercropping like for example here we intercropped a uh, maize uh, with the legume crop the the soil the ground cover is covered the soil is covered uh, that pro it protects the, the the soil from erosion uh, prevents good growth and then also improves uh, soil quality uh, even here with the mulch uh, or even the crop residues uh, at the end of the growing season when harvesting, you leave, you take whatever that you need uh, and then uh, the crop residues are left uh, in the field. Career opportunities in soil science, you, uh, one can study towards a um, Bachelor of Science in Agriculture, measuring in uh, soil science. You can be a technician, a lecturer, or a researcher, uh, or if you are a researcher, you can uh, choose an area of speciality. So that you can be a pedologist. Uh, pedologists deal with the classification and mapping of soil of soils. They do conduct the soil survey, or you can do a uh, you can be a soil biologist where you focus on the uh, microbial or faunal activity uh, in the soil, or an agronomist, which uh, they focus they they focus on soil mm -hmm. and uh, crop productivity, or you can be a soil physicist, which deals that uh, soil scientist who specializes in the phases such as salt and liquid and uh, uh, gases in the soil. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for that interesting talk. Uh, please switch on your camera so that we can see you. Um, I think you forgot to do that. Um, we have about 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 to do that. Um,